Oh, hello again. That's right, it's yet another grade 9 question uh, that I haven't managed to go through in the live lessons anyway. And today we're looking at a paper 1, so a uh, vectors question. So it's a four mark question, not, I don't think it's too spectacular, but this type of question does come up quite a bit. So I thought it might be a kind of a good thing just to go through it. So we have a parallelogram here, which basically means that this side's also A and this side's also C. Not too relevant at the moment. It says x is the midpoint of the line AC, so I'm going to la label that right now. I'm going to draw a line from A to C. Now I'm going to put x roughly in the middle. And it says OCD is a straight line, so we know that there's like a extension over here where this point over here would be D. And it says that OC to CD is k to 1. Okay, cool. And it says, given that x to d is equal to 3c minus a half a, find the value of k. So where would you start? Well, that's a really, really good question. So the first thing I would do is kind of look at what I have and what I need. So whenever you have this kind of ratio question, we're looking for k, right? So something that's really useful is we want to work out what oc is and cd. Once we know those two things, we can work out how much bigger one is than the other. Okay, that's the best way I can explain it. So, OC, well, we already have that, it's just the letter C. Well, it's just the vector C. So, I need to work out CD. And if you look at the information they gave me, they gave me X to D, but I only want C to D. So, the way we can get C to D is we take our XD and we subtract XC, right? Because I have this full distance. Imagine if this was, forget vectors for a second. Imagine if this was just like a normal distance, right? So let's say we have the total distance from here to here as 10 meters, right? And we have the actual, and we have the distance from here to here is four meters. How would you work out CD? Well, you do 10 meters minus four meters, right? Vectors work in the same way. All we're going to do is take the vector XD and subtract the beginning part to leave us with this end part over here. So the question is, do I know what, so yeah, subtract, forgot to write that, xc. So now the question is, do I know what xc is? Well, no, I don't. Okay, well, how can I work out xc? Well, if I look, xc, it's the midpoint, right? So it should be a half of ac. So I'm gonna write it down on the line next, on the line next, on the next line, is a half of ac, okay. Do I know what AC is? Well, I don't know it, but I can work it out because I already have the vectors from between O and A and O and C. So I can actually work out what AC is. AC is just going to be this vector A to O, which I, I don't really like wording it this way. I much prefer, if, if you look, if I'm going from A to C, I need to go backwards and then along. So because this arrow is in the opposite direction to this a, it's going to be minus a, right? Because we're not going that way, we're going in the exact opposite direction, so we need to put a negative in front. And then for oc, that's just a normal c, there's no negatives involved, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Just so you're aware, the reason why I underline certain things is because they're vectors. So if you notice in the question, they put them in bold, but I can't write in bold, and neither can you on a piece of paper. So my notation is that when I'm looking at kind of two letters next to each other, I put an arrow to show that I'm talking about a vector. When it's just a letter by itself, I just underline it. And the cool thing, well, the cool thing about this is that it behaves exactly like algebra. So if I had minus a and then another minus a, I can gather that to be minus two a and it's completely fine. Okay, now we've gone this way, we're going to work our way backwards. So that means xc is just a half of those two vectors, which is actually pretty reasonable. Half times minus one is going to be minus a half a. You expand it just like regular old algebra. Cool. And now if you look with CD, well, I know what both of those vectors are. I'm gonna write it over here though, just so I have more space. It looks a bit neater. XD is this vector here. So that's three C minus a half a. Now, one mistake I've seen a lot of students make with vectors questions is when you're minusing xc, please put it in brackets because both of these things aren't negative. They actually swap signs. So this minus a half a will be plus a half a and this plus a half c will be minus a half c. You're swapping the signs. <clears throat> so expand the brackets. 
minus and minus, so that makes it a plus a half A. And then minus and then plus a half, so that'd be minus a half C. So if you notice, these two things cancel, which I'm actually quite grateful for, because keep in mind, we were looking for the ratio of OC to CD. OC is just C. So if we had any A's in there, we'd be in trouble, because you can't multiply and get an A when you don't have one. So we have 3C minus a half C, so that would just be 2.5C or 2.5C. You can do it as a fraction, you can do it as a, um, as a decimal, it doesn't matter. So now... OC, so if we look at the ratio, we have OC to CD, right? OC is just C, and CD is 2.5, right? C. So I can actually cancel out the C's from both sides, right? Simplifying ratios, you can just divide both sides by C. So we have 1 to 2.5. But if you notice in the answer, the right-hand side is 1. So I need to divide both sides by 2.5. Now, although this is a non-calculator paper, or non, yeah, it is, you can do this in a few different ways. 1 over 2.5 to 1 is accepted, so k is just 1 over 2.5, but if you remember, 2.5 is equal to 5 over 2, so when we do 1 over it, it just becomes 2 over 5. So that's 2 over 5 to 1, or if you prefer decimal, 0 0.4 to 1, okay? So k is just equal to two-fifths or you can say k is equal to 0 0.4 so I know that vectors give quite a few of you heart palpitations and I don't blame you but I promise you vectors once you look at it like a game right you it's, it is just a game right you just move, you have to move in certain steps there's some rules to follow it becomes a lot easier but you have to stay really calm so I can do a bunch more vectors questions if you prefer if it kind of eases you into it there's another type of vectors question where they talk about so they're talking about OCD being on a straight line and you have to do something with that information. I didn't really use this information in this question, right? With the exception that I knew that D was like completely on the same horizontal level. But again, we can go through some more to make sure that you're kind of more aware. I will say in the last like paper three video that we did, so that's um, grade nine, paper three, we did actually go through a question where it just uses the information that's on a straight line. But that's enough of me blathering. I hope you have a wonderful day.